After a two decade run, Mike Trapasso's tenure as head coach of the University of Hawaii baseball team has come to an end as the Rainbow Warriors will not renew his expiring contract. UH Athletics Director David Matlin made the announcement this morning just two days after the completion of Trapasso's 20th season as the Bows went 24 and 26 overall after losing 24 of their final 37 games, including 11 of their last 12 to end the year, taking Trapasso's career record to 536 and 531 with 12 winning seasons, having won two conference championships with two NC2A regional appearances with the most recent coming in 2010. As the search for just the third head coach in program history gets underway, there's no denying that it's the end of an era for Hawaii baseball. What I've often thought about Mike Trapasso and his tenure is you, know, you, you, you think about the boxes that need to be checked uh, when it comes to evaluating a head coach or anybody that runs a program. He would check the boxes of graduating players. He did that at an incredibly impressive rate. There were still people that came out to the ballpark. Uh, but then you introduce the COVID pandemic and the shutdown. And then when they pick up play here in 2021, fans aren't let in the stadium. And so that takes away one of the major factors when it comes to evaluating uh, in its entirety uh, the, the influence of a head coach. And I think when you remove that, it maybe shined a little bit of a brighter light on the competitive side and the win-loss record. Uh, and so I think it was a little more glaring than it would have been even in other seasons because you would have had some of these other boxes to check, so to speak. When you look at now filling this vacancy, what is it about the University of Hawaii baseball program that makes it an intriguing one for applicants across the country as this search now opens? I imagine that the opening of the acceptance of applications will open a veritable floodgate, right? Because uh, there's going to be no shortage of people who will uh, look upon this job as desirous when you look at the facility. But Les Murakami Stadium is no slouch. It is one of the best in the Big West Conference. It is one of the best on the West Coast. I think when you look at that facility and how good it is, when you look at regular television coverage, even if it is local and more regional, it still is accessible across the country. Uh, and so I think you look at those two factors, you look at the history of Hawaii baseball, and it is one that I think should be respected and looked upon as enriched to a very, very large degree. And then I just think you look at the location. It's Hawaii. Uh, it is a great place to play baseball. It is a place that celebrates baseball, has a long tradition even outside of the University of Hawaii itself, just as a state when it comes to youth and high school level baseball, produces incredible talent. Uh, so I think you factor all of those things together. This is a plum job. Uh, and I think being a part of and affiliated with one of the more respected conferences in all of college baseball, I think all that does is just add to the lure and luster. Now, there is no exact timetable on a selection being made, but the recruiting period is set to open on June 8th. According to a source close to Hawaii baseball, multiple current coaches at both the collegiate and pro levels have already expressed interest in the vacancy. Stay with KHON2 on air and online for continuing coverage.